Coast Data to OSET Progress Categories Summary Statements In this presentation, you will learn how the Child Outcome Summary data are transformed into the national data reported by the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Special Education Programs, OSEP. Children exiting from early intervention or early childhood special education should have three pieces of child outcome summary information for each of the three outcomes. A rating between 1 and 7 at entry, a rating between 1 and 7 at exit, and also at exit, a yes or no answer to the question about whether the child has gained any new skills or behaviors. The state agency collects this information from all programs around the state to demonstrate how this information is converted into the numbers that are sent to the U.S. Office of Special Education Programs, let's start with the progress reporting categories. There are five progress reporting categories, each representing progress between entry and exit. When reporting progress data, states identify the percentage of children who A. Did not improve functioning B. Improved functioning but not sufficient to move near to functioning comparable to same age peers C. Improved functioning to a level near to same age peers, but did not reach it. D. Improved functioning to reach a level comparable to same age peers. And E. Those who maintained functioning at a level comparable to same age peers. The progress reporting categories can also be thought of as different developmental trajectories. Understanding that children show different progress trajectories is key to understanding the OSEP reporting categories and how the child outcome summary data is converted into those categories. In this graph, age in months is shown across the bottom. Five different trajectories of growth in an outcome are illustrated with different colored lines. Look at the red line in the graph. This illustrates the first reporting category, A, which refers to children who did not show any improvement in functioning between entry and exit. Note that the red line is flat between 12 and 66 months. All other lines go up, indicating that these children acquired new skills over time. The purple line illustrates typical development and is Category E, children who continue to function like same age peers between entry and exit. The green line shows Category D, children who were not functioning like same age peers in the outcome when they entered the program, but caught up and were functioning like same age peers by the time they left the program. Both the blue and orange lines illustrate the growth of children who were not functioning like same age peers when they entered the program. The orange line shows children who begin to acquire skills at a faster rate after entering the program at around 24 months. The blue line represents children who continue to acquire new skills at the same rate after they enter the program. Now, let's talk about how the seven points on the Child Outcome Summary Rating Scale become the A to E reporting categories. The seven points also represent development trajectories as shown in this graph. The six or seven on the Child Outcome Summary Rating Scale indicates the child is functioning like same age peers. Expressed another way, a child with a rating of six or seven is considered to be following the trajectory for typical development in the outcome. In the graph, the dotted line indicates typical development. Ratings above the dotted lines indicate children are developing like same age peers. Ratings below indicate slower development. Let's say a child at entry was given a rating of two and at exit was given a rating of four. When we draw a line to connect those two ratings, we see the child's developmental trajectory for the time he spent in the program. Let's look at some different trajectories. Again, a rating of 6 or 7 on the Child Outcome Summary Scale indicates the child is functioning like same age peers. Let's look at a few different combinations of ratings for children who are functioning like same age peers at both entry and exit. All these children are counted in Category E. 
this child entered the program not functioning like same age peers, but caught up by the time she exited. This pattern is category D. This is the pattern we looked at earlier. This child showed sufficient improvement in functioning to move to a higher developmental trajectory, which is a higher rating on the scale, but had not yet achieved age-appropriate functioning when he exited. Here's another example of category C. This child showed improved functioning, but did not change developmental trajectories. Note the slope of the child's line. It is not flat, which means the child showed improved functioning. This growth pattern is an example of category B. Here's another example of category B. And another example of category B. In each of these examples, the child showed growth but had not moved closer to functioning like same age peers by the time of exit. We know that a small percentage of children show very little or even no growth while on the program. For these children, we need to look at the answer to the progress question about whether the child acquired any new skills between entry and exit. If the child has a rating of 1 at entry and exit, and the answer to the progress question is yes, then the child's trajectory is going up ever so slightly. This would be another example of category B, because the child made progress even though she did not change trajectories. If the answer to the progress question had been no, then the child's progress would be in the category A. This means the child's developmental trajectory was flat or went down. This is an example of a child who lost skills in the outcome area between entry and exit. Here's another example of category A. Sometimes providers mistakenly answer no to the progress questions for a child who has the same rating at entry and exit. The progress question refers to the acquisition of any new skills. Children who maintain a rating of 2 or higher over time are acquiring new skills to be able to keep the same rating because what is expected of older children developmentally is more than what is expected of younger children. To review, by comparing the entry and exit ratings, we can determine the kind of progress children make during their time in the program. The comparison of entry and exit ratings and the answers to the progress question provide the information for all children's child outcome summary data to be converted into one of the five reporting categories. There is one more thing to be aware of to understand how the national data on child outcomes are calculated. The national data are reported in two summary statements, which are derived from the numbers in each of the A to E reporting categories. The first summary statement is, of those children who entered or exited the program below age expectations in each outcome, the percent who substantially increased their rate of growth by the time they turned three years of age, or for preschool by the time they turned six, or exited the program. The shorthand for this summary statement is, children who showed greater than expected growth. You can see from the formula that Summary Statement 1 is calculated by adding the children in Categories C and D and dividing that number by the sum of the number of children in Categories A, B, C, and D. In this example, 75% of children who entered the program below age expectations in social relationships increased their rate of growth by the time they exited the program. Summary Statement 2 is the percent of children who were functioning within age expectations in each outcome by the time they turned three, or six for preschoolers, years of age, or exited the program. Summary Statement 2 is calculated by adding the number of children in categories D and E, and dividing that number by the total number of children across all categories. This summary statement is often described as children who exited the program within age expectations.
For the same example, 54% of children who exited the program were functioning within age expectations in social relationships. Now when you see the National Child Outcomes data in a table like this, you will know how the Child Outcomes Summary 7-point scale ratings become those data reported about early intervention and early childhood special education.